out here at Big South Fork with my friend uh, Roach. We found a picnic table out in the middle of nowhere. So uh, I, I'm doing a layer change. It uh, started around 34 degrees this morning and it's uh, warming up a little bit. And this down's getting a little too warm to wear with the uh, backpack. So while I uh, took everything out of my backpack to get to the bottom for the shirt, I thought, hey, perfect time to say, here's what's in the backpack. I'm operating with a probably about a nine and a half pound base weight. And every time I say I'm 10 pounds or below, someone comments, you know, I'm just starting out, you know, how much stuff is that? You know, how did you get it to work and that kind of thing. So, um, let me run down the uh, the list of items very quickly. Quit it. So down here, this is a uh, liner, Cuban pack liner. I've got some light duty gloves, okay? I've got a uh, black rock down filled hat and I've got a wind shirt slash rain jacket with hood. I have one pair of socks to change into that are smart wool. And I've got my uh, another pair of ex officio or underpants. This is a shirt I'll be ch changing into here in a second. It's a stoic uh, uh, long sleeve shirt and I've got the, uh, the pants. I actually sleep in these pants. We got down to uh, almost 32 degrees last night and I didn't have to put those pants on. Um, but tonight it's supposed to get below freezing so imagine I'll have those dudes on. Uh, both of these are merino wool and uh, merino wool is expensive. Uh, this is old backcountry brand if you can find it. Like on steep and cheap it's affordable. These are my, if we got across the creek and I can't figure out a way to get around it, um, shoes. Those are uh, Vivo Barefoot. They don't weigh very much at all. This is a Barco Lounger which is basically Tyvek around a very thin pad I got from Gossamer Gear. This is going to end up inside my uh, top quilt tonight to help with the back, keep the backs of my calves warm because as you'll see in a second, my uh, under quilt is a partial length. This is my backpack, it's a Z-Pack Zero. They don't make these anymore. Um, I think that's a mistake, but anyway, I love it. It's a small one and I can fit everything I need. And again, this is winter camping and I still have plenty of room. Uh, if I was going longer though, right here for three days, if I was going longer, I'd go with a little bit of a larger pack just so I could carry more food. Here's a towel, and here's a stick I'm carrying, and then I've got a couple of Gatorade bottles. Up top here, that's my pillow, down pillow this time of year. My underquilt is a Yeti from Warbonnet, partial length. This is an old one. I picked this up used on hammock forms for like 95 bucks. It only weighs 10 ounces. So it's lost some weight. It's a 20 degree uh, underquilt. Um, I've had it down uh, below freezing and I'm taking below freezing in the night. I'm six foot tall. Get a lot of questions about these partial length underquilts. Will they keep me warm? Yes, they will. Last night I used this underquilt and the pad that's on the back of this uh, backpack. That's what was underneath my heels. Stayed plenty toasty. Top quilt, this is underground quilts. Top quilt, this is my favorite. Rated to uh, 25 degrees. Um, this go this top quilt and that under quilt go with me not about 90% of the time I go hiking Here's my hammock. I'll show this all set up later, but here's my hammock. It is a war bonnet um, War bonnet uh, blackbird 1.1 layer single layer and I've got one of those uh, AHE arrowhead equipment um, a burrito um, Covers to go with it, which is you know something you can buy uh, separately and this this is kind of an old-school winter setup and then I've got my Z-Packs um, accessory pouch that's full of you know toothpaste and my my knife for batoning wood, all that kind of stuff. Extra bare batteries for this camera. Wind pants, Montbell. These weigh like an ounce and a half. These are great. Um, though when I put those uh, those tights on tonight, I put this on over top. Uh, stay away from the pops at the campfire, but that keeps you pretty pretty warm. This is my. Uh, fil water filter system. I got two, two sick or two liter bottles in there with my Katadin water filter. This is my suspension for my hammock. I use hammock anchors. I've heard people, you know, talk about how they never used them or quit using them because they were fraying their 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 line. I've been using these for about two years. I weigh almost 200 pounds, and uh, they've never failed me. And I've got some grappler. Um, uh, whatever that grappler sense not dealio is. I've got my ASIM tarp from Hammock Gear. That's the tarp on top. I've got uh, some, I've got four 
uh, carbon tent stakes inside there. Spot sent my wife, she likes to get messages saying, hey, I'm okay. This is my little buck saw. If you've been camping with me, I like to have a fire. So that's this way. This is the lightest saw I could find. Got some maple syrup in case we decide to make pancakes tonight. I've got some, uh, this is the adult, this is the adult area. I've got some stogies in there, okay. Um, on the chow line, I've got a wooden spoon. This is my, uh, uh, my cooking setup, my Rotolacura, um, you know, lid. That gets the weight down a little bit more. But I'm actually running gas in there on a, uh, a BRS stove. And it's still, still pretty light. Got some extra plastic bags for chow because I split up some Mountain House lasagna. I'll heat it up in there and here's my food. So my total pack weight is probably around 14 pounds um, with the Gatorade. And I'm, I'm you know, I'm nine something uh, base weight. Hope that was helpful. Not bragging, just saying what I brought. And uh, it's been close to freezing and I haven't, uh, haven't perished yet. So talk to you later. All right, so me and uh, this uh, gentleman here, um, he's a man of many hats. Um, we just uh, we found a place to stop for the night. And my tag stick, oh, damn, dude, you got a big head. Hey, the <laughs> so uh, so real quick, we just put our stuff up and thought we'd give you an opportunity to check it out. Um, what's the temperature supposed to get to tonight? Uh, 28 in Jamestown and Oneida, but we're not in Jamestown and Oneida. We're between it in the woods. Yeah, we're kind of low. Colder. Yeah, it's colder. We're, we're down by a stream, and uh, there's wetlands down here from recent rains and whatnot. So, the uh, the cool thing about this camping area, this uh, this trail, and we're still on the uh, the honey uh, the Honey Creek Loop. We're honey inside Creek the Honey Creek Loop. Yeah, we're still inside the Honey Creek Loop. You can camp where you want. It's leave no trace, but uh, um, to get a spot near water to go as far as we wanted to started to prove challenging. So we actually turned around and came back here. But without further ado, let's, we're going to do a quick tour of home so you can see um, how we're going to cope with the uh, 25, 28 degree weather that's been forecasted. That's the that's the highest low. Highest low. We'll okay. we'll be lower. We'll see. Anyway, we'll be warm. All right. Oh, yeah. So in addition, to what we have on, you know, we're going to show you what we're going to sleep in. All right. So here we go. All right. So this is what my hooch looks like. We're going to start on this end. Uh, I got grapplers on some Kevlar tree straps to uh, my, uh, my basic suspension. So the suspension for my hammock is the same suspension I use for my um, uh, tarp. And in this case, the tarp is a hammock gear ASIM, which I have open now so I can show you on the other side what, uh, what I have. Now moving down the suspension, I've got this, uh, this shot corner on here that I've, to use a shug term, I've rattly attached to uh, to this uh, this little uh, beaner, Dutch beaner, tarp beaner, and then uh, prussic for tension. Um, and at the bottom of my suspension, I have a thing. These are hammock anchors, and uh, work great. Last long time, I love it. Okay, uh, made dog bone for the uh, uh, war bonnet blackbird, 1.1 single layer. Okay, and underneath it, for an underquilt, I have the uh, war bonnet yeti. 20 degree that's uh, been around quite a long time you know it's only 10 ounces so i know it's it's lost some feathers and then on top of this i've got a uh i've got a bear burrito from uh ahe equipment arrowhead equipment um to help you know you a little microclimate inside and make it just a little bit warmer so that's what uh, that's what i'm supporting and on the inside i've got a 25 degree top quilt and then uh underground quilts Say 50 treated down or whatnot. I've had it a long time. Yep. And uh, I've, I've used that same same setup for uh, similar conditions. Um, I did take a. Uh, I've got a Barco lounger, which is you know for the group that I hike with. Pretty much all of us have these. Uh, they're made with Tyvek on the outside, and one eighth inch um, you know foam padding on the inside that we get from Gossamer Gear. So we basically make this uh, this sheet of stuff you can lay around on. We call it the Barco Lounger. Well, it makes pretty good insulation on the, the bottom of your hammock. If you have a two-layer hammock, you can slide it in between in the summertime and use it to stay warm. In this case, I'm you know here's here's roaches, which is on the ground. I have one just like this. I've already folded it in half and stuffed it inside my top quilt. 
So since I have a partial underquilt, that's going to help me uh, remain warm for the rest of my uh, for the rest of my lower body. Now then, coming over here is uh, Mr. Roach. Or Mr. Roach, why don't you? Why don't you? Well, welcome to uh, Schloss Roach. Uh, what we have here, my oldest item is a Hennessy ASIN tarp, which um, they work. You know, if you're getting wet on them, you're not setting them up right. Okay. Next uh, item, I have a Lilo top quilt and a Lilo bottom quilt. What are those rated to? You who to? don't own Lilo's, it sucks to be you. Okay? Sorry. And what I have in here is, oh, also on this Lilo, it has the triangle thingies, as H&O was the original guy that came up with this idea. So. What, uh, what's the rating, temp rating? Uh, the those? rating, I think, for this uh, is about 15, 10, 15 mm. degrees. This is a, uh, I'll call it a f almost full fractional. It's, it's probably uh, 5 eighths in length, if that makes sense. How like, tall are you? 6 2 with eyes okay. of blue. All right. Thank you for asking. <laughs> And my hammock is a Great Nut special made by Great Nut. What? Yeah, look at that. You made it for moi. With yeah. a couple of naughty mods down at the foot end. Naughty mods. I can see we're open. Uh, what I have in here, my ridge line, this, this, this ridge line and holder is actually off of an old um, Hennessy. Hennessy Explorer Ultralight, which uh, ripped on me because someone climbed in it with a uh, screwdriver in their back pocket. <laughs> but. Uh, Hennessy gave me a, um, I could buy a new one for 50% off the price, so. Because you was, you were outside the one year warranty? I was or? outside the one year warranty, and screwdrivers, in my opinion, don't cover the one year warranty, but they were pretty cool about that. So I just added it on here, and I know my, where my glasses are. Do you know where yours were last night, Joe? They're in my truck right now. <laughs> okay, but uh, they're always there, always are handy. And so that, that's a nice design. Most you see a rectangular. That's uh, that's got a little scoop to it. And these uh, these are separate pockets right here, right? Yeah, yeah. There, there's two little separate pockets. I don't know whatever you want to put up in there. That, yeah. It's up to you. I, you for, right. for my little world, here's all the bags <laughs> that hold my down, hold my hammock and tarp are here. I'm gonna put my glasses in there tonight. <clears throat> okay. And that's pretty much all I. Cool. I use, but what's the top quilt rated to? Uh, the top quilt is uh, 15 degrees. 15 degrees. 15 degrees. So you're gonna still be warm tonight. No, I'll be tested. I'll be All right. Anything else of uh, interest you'd like to uh, discuss? Uh, no, not really. What are these weird little things? Oh, oh those are uh, loop aliens. Uh, I was using uh, Dutch flies. Uh, hope I got that correct. But I found with these loop aliens, uh, they're a little more finger friendly in cold weather. Oh, okay. Put them on and off. Plus, being that they have no edges. Right. Okay. There, there's nothing sharp when, when you're stuffing everything into a stuff sack. You mean, there's you mean, nothing you mean like a screwdriver? Uh, like a screwdriver. Okay. Is one option. That's why I don't do that anymore. All right. Okay. Good deal. So it's time to gather wood and uh, build a huge fire because it's going to get cold tonight. That's right. Adios.